Well, hey guys, I've just come out today for a bit of a look. I'm getting a bit lazy. I should have done my intro, but I can't really do an intro at the moment because it's blowing that bloody bad. So, there's this one block where I'm at now. It's big standover block. It's uh, second year standover. And I usually don't hunt in the wind, but last few times I've been out hunting this block, there's pigs in it, and we can't get the, car the dogs to aren't get enough scent. So, I thought, well, I'll try and use today into my advantage a little bit. So I'm doing the intro from the car because it is. I'm going to be up front with you. She's blowing. The dogs are already keen, so we'll just keep we'll keep going because I don't really want them to jump here. I want them to jump at the other end. But anyway, I got my old mate with me today. Old goat bag. Hey, old mate. Yeah, old kinky. Old kink back. Oh shit! What's that? Cubic. Care. Yeah. Dogs just had a pretty good jump straight in here again, so I might just keep driving up just to the break because there's some soya beans up here that's just in case something runs out. That went in just here somewhere, so nice and short cane, so hopefully we get we get some action. Right, oh, well, we're just getting these dogs back on the ute here and right down the end of these soya beans that you can't see them. But Simon just seen something out of the corner of his eye while I was rooting around here and I just looked through the scope and there's pigs down there in the soya beans. So it's that windy at the moment. There's not really much we can do other than just send her. I think that's going to be the only way. I think they're sort of coming up. To yeah, I think they are too, but I really want to wait here all night. Oh, well. Molly will probably be a bit too slow for them, but hopefully lower season. We're going to come around and we're going to try and flank them, keep them in the beans if we can. So we'll see if that works. If not, it only doesn't look like there's anything real good there. But anyway, we'll try that. We'll just try and flank them and see how we go. If we drive straight into them, the dogs probably jump before we get down there and uh, pain the ass. Anyway, dawn skis. You better get up there and try and shoot something then. <laughs> yeah, no, they're going to go in the cane here. No, 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 yeah, no, no. They're going to go, I don't know. It's a bit hard to show you what they're going to do. Are they still there? Yeah, I know, I see him. Hey. Well, this is a good one here. Surely I couldn't have missed him. Fucking ballistic tips for you. Here. Here. Backtracking. Molly, come here. Whereabouts was he, you reckon? Where's Pig? Well, she's had something. Oh, she got blood mouth. Sucker, probably. I oh, run back in the cane. Nah, unless she sees them, she's no good. Not if he's not hit. Oh, there's blood. Or was it from Molly? That's from here. Here. Here you go. You'll be right. You'll get him. He probably... Is he blueing? Don't hear anything.
He's bleeding still through here. You're right. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. Good dog. Be careful here too, this is all water. Good dog. Yeah, you gotta be careful that you, you gotta be careful that um you don't just go straight through here. Good dogs. That's why you need Molly. Oh his old fucking Lola won't find them when they're dead. You see he's gotta see him. Oh Jesus Christ, he's got a bit of weight in him. Good dog! Oh, you bastard! Oh, you might just leave him there and go up and see if we can get the other one, though. Well, we ended up getting one. Molly jumped and she ended up backtracking. I instead of yelling and carrying on, we just kept poking up and we um, sort of tried to give Lola a bit of a look, but she was just there for moral support, really. And the big, bigger boar ran out, and I give him a bloody dose and give the other ones a bit of a dose, so. Anyway, we found we found him. He's in, he was just in there. I'll give you a look in a minute, but we're just going to keep hunting for a little while longer because I want to get home and watch the footy. My ears are ringing. Wind blowing straight in my face. The gun usually the gunshot, the wind's behind you to carry the bullet, but of course the bullet, the gunshot just blew back in my face and deafened me. But anyway, Lola, what are you doing? No. Oh well. We'll keep going for a quick look and we'll see if we can mop up with a bit of garbage. Bloody look. We just had another jump heading back up here to do a bit of a blocky. We'll see what happens. They got a bit of a jump on us now, but they're sort of, we're just in the drain here and they'll usually cross back over into the stand over here. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Bloody hell. I'll give Simon the gun now. Let him have a go. He didn't bring his. Slack bastard. Watch out, watch out. Just run them, just run them past that. So I, was, I wasn't even looking at this fella either until you said, where'd I hit him? Shoot his chest or head. Yeah. Another boar. That next one was bigger than him. Oh, yeah, yeah. That might have been the bigger one that, out of the mob that I've seen. Right, oh, no, we just had another jump and got another one. And dogs sort of hit him down deeper. I just sort of heard something and then I heard him running across here. And my old mate, he had to, had to duck quickly because a couple run across in front of us. I got one, the other one kept going. So just give these dogs a quick break and um, we'll um, keep going for a bit of a look. A bit of a look, but really hard hunting in the wind it's really hard like you probably will shoot more in the wind than the dogs will catch usually because it's a pain but i did tell goat bag that he's been frothing he's been chomping a bit to stick one he reckons but he doesn't have a knife so i don't know what he's going to stick it with do it old brownie for the old stingray <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's stick it with something else buddy yeah <laughs> you like that yeah or oh, you just put your finger in it, it feels like a fanny. <laughs> That's a story for another day. Well, the dogs just had another jump. We just come down to the corner here, out of the wind a bit, and it does smell a little little honky like, a little piggy. We might just get the gun out, put a little bit more ammo into it, and go and sit on the corner down there where they run out. Bloody hell. Well, we shanked that one. We had a good jump. They hit a pig just right in front of us here. Just right, just like literally just in here. My old mate goat bag, he was just sitting there topping it sweet. Been a while, mate. Yeah. <laughs> he's sort of looking at me and he's looking at the cane. He's sort of thinking, oh, there's something that's going to either come out or I'm hearing things. <laughs> oh, well. Everything's mate, nothing happened. Yeah, they're not good to sink the slippery into anyway. No, not them big bastards. Not them big bastards. We'll keep going, we'll run a few a few more blocks out, but if you get into that time. 
football time soon. The missus making pizza. Mm. The other. Get that one. Got him. I dropped him. Yeah. Fucking no, Lola had him. Molly was out here chasing these. Did you see him? Yeah, only a little one. Only a little one just in there. It might be the tail end from over. I just saw the picture. Did you see it when you run in? He'd be doggo there. So I couldn't see because of the dust, a little one. We're just driving out of the farming and we're just coming along the bottom of these soya beans and the buddy pigs must have heard us and they'd started running. I was just like, oh, what's that? And I seen them. Lola just split one off. Molly sort of couldn't really catch him. She's a bit like that. And Simon went running in. I just had a shot at a couple. And she dropped it, Lola dropped that one uh, before Simon got in there. Now they're just working around in there trying to pick him up. He must have pumped out because he's, they're out at 200. So he's pumped out. But it's just that long grass. Wind coming the wrong way too though. Yeah, the wind's all swirling and shit. But look at this, that's, that's grass, that's thick. That's as high as me, so as soon as Lola's hit him, they've gone in there and battled and just, he's just blown her in it. Oh well, such is life, they're blown out a bit now, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Dogs are blowing across the creek here, so we're going to go up there and block him up. What usually happens here is they blow back in the cane, half the mob went back that way. I've got this little pig here one I shot but look at this grass here look I'm you know look the GoPro's titty hide on me and that, even the best dogs to get blown in that sort of grass just so hard and I'm like Lola grabbed it wheeled it they get into that and they just burrow and then they just keep going they just they just shred their ears so we'll get up here we'll try and block these dogs up and, and we'll see if we can lick our wounds but usually the the wind usually the wind is so hard for the dogs because you can't hear anything but it's the best cover for the pigs because you can get right up on them and we're seeing a few pigs tonight because of that reason because of how blowy it is but we're losing a lot you know if it wasn't for me steering them the dogs would, wouldn't even know where to look when people say, oh, my dog would have found that if it was there, crap. People say, you're only as good as your dogs. Well, that's crap too. Because you've got to steer your dogs. Like a great hunter can make an average dog look good. And an average hunter can make the best dog look shit out. And a good team is combined of a good hunter and good dogs. And I consider myself a good team. So we'll do, we'll get up here and we'll try and block this pig up and we'll see how we go. Fucking hell. I just fucking missed it. Wasn't quick enough. I could hear him. Pig just walked straight out in front of us where we blocked him up. Dogs are working 250 in. And we're just, that's what I was saying. They, they'll, they'll push in and they'll come back in the cane like this. But I was just sitting here talking to Simon. I just, because the wind's blowing so hard, I just heard that little crack and 
bloody black and white pig just stood out in front of me. But anyway, that's what they're doing. That's what they always do. They come along this creek and they blow back in the cane. Dogs would lose them because the wind's just swirling and. Oh. They're not pushing him, so he might. No, they're not pushing him. He might stand up in there for a bit, eh? Well, he didn't. He didn't keep running. He just. He's just no, said doggo. Anyway, I'll put this down and see if I can get these dogs back. Trying to call her back without yelling too loud so the echo doesn't um, call her back. Come on! A sort of like quarter pitch. Come on! Because otherwise the echo, like she's trying to track out. That a lot of people will call too loud and now dogs will chase the echo. So i just been trying to let her work her way out, but I've just walked in the bush a bit now to try and call her back. Come on! You want to go too loud? If you start hearing it echo yourself, just knock her back a couple of pegs. Come on! Come on! She follows the echo. She gets a bit lost. She, she not, don't have a very good nose, do you, girl? You don't have a very good nose. You don't, you, you don't backtrack much, do you? There's no giving you. <laughs> but yeah, you, I'll face back this way. So I'm just leaving her run around up there for a bit and trying to get her back. But in this country here, it all echoes. So you just got to just call at a certain pitch. If you hear yourself calling and it's echoing, you got to just knock it right back because the dog will chase the echo. I found anyway. Come on. Come on, let's out on your garbage. Are you a boy dog or a girl dog? Did you have some of this? Here. You don't even We're just finishing up, guys. Remember, go and drag, grab your pig draggers from our website, canepigqueensland.com.au. Pig draggers. Ship them anywhere, 30 bucks. Bloody oath. If you're local, 20 bucks. Can't pick them up. Guys, these are original and best. Use them for years. See a lot of copies out there nowadays. But hey, stick with the originals. We'll stick with you. Anyway, let's go in here and grab this pig. Go in and grab this pig, I reckon. Oh, pig draggers, remember, jump on the website. I'll show you. They're the original and best. One. Two here. You jump onto that one. There you go, bag. I'll turn around and put the boogie on. Righto. We got them out with the pig draggers. We got him out. He could go his 80. He's, he's definitely heavy enough. He's got plenty of mud on him. Oh, got to do we. The old handy pig dragger, bloody oath. A good goat bag on him. <laughs> Couple little ones. By the bag. <laughs> How you going, mate? Yeah. You having a good one or what? Didn't get the stick any, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Make up for it now. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy you reckon you'll go? Fucking no idea. 78. I'll say 78. <laughs> it's been that long, so I have no idea. Hold on, let me, let me just have a feel. Oh, no, here you go, 80. Here goes 80 for sure, I reckon. I'll weigh him up. The guys, look, as I'm saying, like, don't get caught up in this nonsense, you know, you're only as good as your dogs and this sort of crap. You know, good hunters are good hunters at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what sort of dogs they got. I count these dogs here pretty handy, and more handy than most. And with the conditions today, I was steering them around, and we got onto a few pigs, like we did. I find that the wind covers the pigs a lot, and makes it really hard for the dogs to work. Now, guys, I shot them all. All the pigs we got here, we, we, we um, hit up a couple. We had one there for a little bit, but unfortunately they got, they got blown in that grass. But that's hunting. That's hunting. You know, don't read into it so much, you know. You've got to help your dogs out. You've got to help the dogs out, don't I? I've got to steer you around. 
No, it's teamwork. Teamwork. And then what the other thing is, is everyone's too afraid to cop a loss. Like if you've got a garbage dog and you consider yourself a pretty handy hunter, get rid of it. Get rid of it. This effort tonight, I was expecting it. I already warned Simon before we come out. I said, look, we probably won't get in with a dog. We might shoot something. But that's the problem nowadays is everyone considers themselves a hunter and a great hunter. And they won't be honest with themselves and say, oh, look, you know, what do you reckon about this dog? They take offense to it. The problem is they buy all these pups for, you know, $900, $1,000. And they're not willing to cop a loss, get, in, get rid of it if it's no good, you know. That's the problem. Then it starts catching them a few pigs and they start running it. Guys, look, just be willing to cop a loss if you start hunting. Just because you get a dog that's going to sort of do you, catch your odd pig here and there, is not always going to be the best suited dog to you. Guys, let's weigh this up. I could go on about this for hours, but, you know, that's why I'm in a rut. Because I've had good dogs and I know what to expect from really good dogs. I've had really good packs. The problem is people have, haven't had that because they have average dogs and they don't want to cop a loss on it. I'm not trying to say everyone's got shit dogs. I'm just saying in general with how it is hunting now and how popular it is, that's what we're seeing. There's more and more rubbish dogs out there. Guys, stop breeding your fucking rubbish and be done with it. Just, if it catches the odd pig, just leave it catch the odd pig. Leave people breed decent dogs. The trouble with dogs, like I won't pay any more than $300 for a dog. I just won't pay any more than $300 for a pup. They're not worth it. And I want to have its needles for that because 100 bucks is my limit for a dog with no needles, 100, 100, 200. And people say, oh, that's the reason why you got shit dogs. I'm willing to cop the loss. And I'm not going to spend the money on rubbish. Anyway, guys, I'm ranting. Bloody earth. All right, let's weigh this up. You got a good set on him. You got a good set of hooks on him. Well, for cane pigs, they're nothing compared to, to, to cape pigs or whatever, but for cane, for cane, being a younger pig, pretty good set. Doesn't have rotted teeth, so he's probably been a scrubber for a little bit. Pretty equal, eh? Hello. Are you a boy dog or a girl dog? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yes. That is it. That is it. That is it. Oh, okay. How you going there, Mark? Need a bit of hair around it? Yeah. A bit of black stuff, a bit of blonde. <laughs> <laughs> right, I better help him out. I better help him out. He's up. Yeah, he's up. 85. Right, guys, we're going to finish up here. Don't take offence to my thought on dogs. I get pretty wound up about it. I've been hunting since we could ride push bikes. So, guys, we've, I've been around a long time. I've seen a lot of dogs come and go. I've seen a lot of good dogs come and go. So, you know, I used to hunt with a dolphin torch, for God's sake. No trackers. Either. We, we didn't buy trackers until, what, 2010? Yeah. 12? Yeah. You know, I just didn't believe in them. And then when I got them, I thought, oh, you know... They're pretty sound LED lights. Yeah, yeah, we we've been around a long time. Anyway, guys, we're gonna leave it there. Got a couple of good pigs, got a couple of shitters. I had to do all the hard yards. <laughs> do all the hard yards blowing them. Hey! Did you not catch me in oh you had a go. That's all that counts. You had a bit of a go, you showed initiative, you know, that's all that, that's all that matters nowadays. You know? Yes, petition. Yeah, well, I can't even say that word. I'm not even going to try. I'll give you a gold star. Yes. Oh, okay. You right there, go bag or what? Bloody oath. Anyway, guys, we'll leave it there. Bloody oath. I might, uh, yeah, watch you do get jammed there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Bloody oath.
Make sure you support us. Go and buy some bloody pig draggers. You've got a heap of merch coming. I've been tired as, well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I squeak when I walk, I'm that tight. I've been trying to get some bloody, I've been trying to get some merch, I just haven't been able to afford it. Such is life, too bad, so sad. But anyway guys, hopefully not too much longer. Just before I go guys, I just knocked the back legs off that for the dogs. Pup, bit, of, bit of pup food, bit of pup training, that sort of stuff. But guys, I'm using the O knife. I've got the O knife. Um, look, these things are pretty good. Look at this. Whoop, straight up. No mucking around. I've been using it, actually, instead of using my butcher knives. Nice and easy to carry. So guys, look, get on board, get one of these. Use the link in the description. I tell you, look at it, look. look. <laughs> guys, they're magic. It's held its edge. I haven't had to sharpen it yet. And, well, I wouldn't say I'm the greatest butcher. I hit and bone all the time, so I usually have to sharpen my knives pretty regularly. But, guys, the O knife, jump on board. Use the link in the description. And if you like any of their other products, use CPQ10 to get a further 10% off any products that's not already on sale. I'll just show you the, the torch. I'll show you the other product I was using tonight, the other O-Light. I was also using the Javelot Pro 2 in the car key color. Use the link in the description. Guys, it's a pretty handy torch. I've been using it for a while. I'll give you a look at it in a second. I have been using it for a fair while. Use the link in the description if you want the gun mounted light. Like it, it shines. Like it, it just doesn't do enough justice. Me showing you through GoPro and phone. And the other light I'm using, I've always got on my hip, is the Javelot Mini. Guys, if you're going to get any of them, any of these products, I suggest this. This thing is such a magic little torch. Like I use it regularly just shining around and saves me using my bloody head torch and it's just a good backup light for your head torch this little darling mate he is a perler i love it here's the big girl the big o light anyway Links are in the description below. Make sure you use them. Make sure you jump on board with our pig draggers, guys. Any support helps, and buying them torches supports me. And I tell you, I wouldn't be running them if they were garbage. I'd be straight up honest with you. Anyway, bloody look. That's bloody fucking o lies everywhere. Another one here I just found. Man, back to the product. <laughs> hey? Anyone who thinks I'm sponsored by them? Anyone? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's see if can. <laughs> anyway, what I got here, I just found another one. Warrior X3. Bloody hell, eh? Look at this bugger. Oh. Anyway, guys, buy one of them, for God's sake. Warranty's excellent. Great product. Let me buy some $300 dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll swap you an O-Light for a dog. <laughs> Bloody ass.